Let's build a PC, and while we're at it, let's go ahead and give it away. How about that? Gigabyte and Enermax have sponsored this entire build, and they told me to give it away. So, what we're going to do here are actually host two giveaways. Uh, the first one is going to be this build here. I don't know what Pepsi's doing back there. Anyway, this system will be given away to someone in the US. For obvious reasons, I believe it's just too expensive to, to ship this overseas. Now, for those who live overseas, not to worry, I have another giveaway for exclusively international viewers, uh, and they will be running at the same time. So this giveaway here and uh, the graphics card giveaway for the international viewers. So if you live in the US, you have a chance to win this entire system here. Uh, and if you are an international viewer, what I'm going to do is throw in a graphics card, actually maybe maybe two, maybe I'll just do two graphics cards, let's do two international giveaways. And uh, we will uh, be shipping those to the winners doesn't matter where you live as long as you can receive physically packages uh, and as long as it's not going to be like a thousand dollars to ship the thing because if that's the case it's like four or five times the price of the card then I'm just going to PayPal you some money and you can buy your own card in your own country uh, but that aside we're going to focus on the build video uh, because this is going to look really cool I think it's going to be a white and black theme build uh, we do have a black motherboard from Gigabyte but pretty much everything else in the system is going to be white including this beautiful LigTech AIO from Enermax and this white RTX 2070 hiding behind the power supply. So uh, yeah, let's get to building. Gigabyte's Z390 Aorus Pro packs the necessities and more for your next 9th gen Intel rig, boasting a properly doubled 12 plus one phase power solution, stylish aesthetic with built-in backplate, dual BIOS, eight fan hubs, the list goes on. Click the link below to learn more. Quick pause, I wanted to show you this cool memory kit from Gigabyte. It's just called RS RGB memory. Like that's literally what it's called. So <laughs> interesting uh, naming scheme. Anyway, you get four modules in here, but only two of them are functional. Only two of them have memory chips on the PCB. So the other two are just for show. The cool thing is you're paying a lot less than uh, a typical four dim kit. You know, even if you get 16 gigs, usually four by four is gonna cost more than eight by two. So uh, this is actually really nice because Gigabyte isn't charging much more for the additional two modules here, they're going to fill out all four of our um, RAM slots on our Z390 motherboard, which is which is cool. I mean, if you're if you're someone who likes to you know deck it out as much as possible, but you're not worried about buying like a 32 gig kit at like two or three hundred bucks because those prices are still pretty insane, then uh, this might be for you.
All right, so here she is in all her glory. We have a blue theme set up here. The cool thing is it's all hooked up to the motherboard uh, via an addressable RGB hub. So we can actually control all of the LEDs in the entire system through Gigabyte's RGB Fusion software. Now I know Gigabyte software isn't the best. A lot of you uh, tend to feel pretty strongly about that. I don't blame you, but I will say that the RGB Fusion 2 that we're using here is pretty intuitive and straightforward. If you want a certain theme, a uh, certain effect to, to happen, or maybe you just want a certain color static like we have here, uh, it's very simple to do. A few seconds, click minimize, and it's good to go. I do want to touch on a few hiccups I ran into. You might have noticed in some of the B-roll clips. First off, the AIO tubes would not fit between the motherboard and the graphics card. That's just because the graphics card is pushed too far back, uh, and that's kind of a good thing if you think about it for temps, right? So there's a ton of space here between the left side panel and the fans for the graphics card. That means the graphics card should not be choking for her at all and we have uh, independent videos regarding these kinds of vertical kits uh, that uh, reveal that temperatures really don't change much at all in fact in some cases temperatures improve uh, with this config here now, if you don't like this style maybe you have a capture card you want to include in your system or whatever uh, then you can totally switch this back to the standard horizontal layout not an issue at all now as a result of mounting the AIO up top the fan rad combo uh, we could not install a rear fan now, there was a rear fan included uh, with the case but the motherboard in conjunction with the AIO being placed how it was uh, was just not allowing enough space for that 140 mil fan to fit. You could put a 120 mil fan back there without the AIO up top. Of course the tubes are blocking you now uh, but the motherboard itself was actually too big. The, uh, the rear IO shroud uh, for a 140 mil fan. So it looks a bit bare back there, but again, we do have the tubes at least to kind of take up some of that space, and at least you get to see the beautiful rear IO shield uh, on, or rear IO shield, the, the shroud over the rear IO ports on the uh, Z390 Aorus Pro from Gigabyte. And you can see the Aorus logo light up too, so if that's your thing, there you go. Now as for storage, uh, it's probably my fault. <laughs> I think there was a miscommunication between myself and, and market reps, but we only have 128 gig SSD in here. And my justification for that is like, okay, look, if you already have a system, which if you're watching this video, you probably do, you probably have a hard drive with your Steam library loaded up on it. All you need to do is swap that hard drive in here. You actually don't even need to swap it, just include it in here, keep the SSD as it is. We've got activated Windows 10 Pro running on this thing and uh, you'll be fine. There's really nothing else you need to do. I could have thrown in a hard drive, but that's one of the things that can be pretty sensitive, especially if I ship this via FedEx or UPS, you know, those kinds of moving parts tend to not fare well during shipping. So uh, just the SSD, I mean, you could tape this really anywhere, but I mounted it uh, to the front here to kind of cover up some of the cables that you might see behind this little panel uh, next to the motherboard. And that's kind of the best I could do. I don't have many SSDs on hand. I only have two hard drives and both of those I use for testing. So it's just, it's a bring your own hard drive scenario. Sorry, but the good thing is they're not too expensive. With that, I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys think about this case down below in the comment section. Also, if you're wondering how to enter this particular giveaway, uh, we're going to include a link down below, yes. It's going to be a Gleam link. I don't like Gleam. I've told you in the past I don't like using Gleam. In fact, for my own personal giveaways, I don't use Gleam at all. I gave For Christmas, I gave away like four graphics cards, and I did them all on different social media accounts. So if you're following me on Twitter, just retweet the post, and you're entered into the giveaway. Uh, for this, though, because we have companies involved, and I said this in... in one of my older videos regarding how we're going to handle giveaways, um, we're going to use Gleam, but we're not going to have like the 15 entries and all that just garbage that you'll see on other channels, other giveaways that, that I can't control. I'll be in control of this giveaway. It'll be my own Gleam account that we'll be using. Uh, and all we're going to be doing is just requiring you guys to subscribe to, to Science Studio, and then I think for Gigabyte and Entermax, just follow them on Twitter. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be it. So just three ways to enter. I might throw in my own Twitter as well, because Twitter tends to be a pretty popular uh, source for media guys like myself. So uh, three Twitter and then a subscribe from Science Studio. That's it, four entries. And uh, if there's any more than that, you guys can uh, you guys can yell at me. Um, <laughs> but I think that's all we're gonna do. So if you're already subscribed, you're already basically entered. Just go, you know, enter normally. It's pretty straightforward. If we have any issues with YouTube and the giveaway things, I know that's been kind of a, a hot topic and how YouTube is handling giveaway links and stuff like that. It could be in violation of terms of service. I will tell you in a pinned comment as well as a description where you can go to enter the giveaway. So, so if it's not, in the description itself, 
Look somewhere else. The screen just went black. Look somewhere else, uh, either in the pinned comment or the video description, and that'll tell you where to find the giveaway link. All right, now for the international viewers, I have a solution to your concerns. I know you are probably upset that you can't win this right here, but like I said, shipping's going to cost several, several hundred dollars, and that's assuming it's just going across the, the smaller pond, right? If I gotta ship this to, I don't know, India, uh, that would be fairly expensive to say the least. So I'm going to ship you smaller stuff that is still pretty valuable in my eyes and uh, you get two chances to win. Uh, so I think you'll appreciate it. Let me go get the, the graphics cards. All right, so how about we do a 980 Ti? Let's see. I know it's Maxwell, but a 980 Ti is as good as a 1070, which is as good as a 2060 almost. So this is this is a pretty good card in my opinion. And um, even if you want to buy these used, around two, 250 bucks USD, so that's not bad, but that's why I'm including another one as well. And this is a GTX 1080. Now I've been buying these not not frequently, but I've every now and then if I find a good deal on eBay, I buy these out of my own pocket. Um, well, I should say my own business pocket. It's a business expense technically, uh, but nonetheless, these aren't sent to me. I buy these myself, and uh, I had plans to give a lot of these away in the future uh, because I think these cards are still very very valuable uh, in terms of like what they offer for the price in the used market in particular. Uh, and uh, actually the prices of these have been going up as of late. This card brand new was actually, well, actually was a, is a clearance item. I'm not sure where this came from specifically. It looks like it, it looks like this is a micro center sticker, but it says it sold for 485 bucks. It was originally $539. Now you can get these for around 300 to 400 bucks, although because they're very hard to find now, because they don't make Pascal cards anymore, uh, these are oftentimes as much as they cost brand new in the used market. So anyway, GTX 1080, Super Clock from EVGA, that's one giveaway, and then also the 980 Ti from Zotac. This is a beefy Amp Extreme card, and this will be the other giveaway. So if you are an international viewer, you can win either of these. And if you're wondering how you can enter to win those, it's gonna be very simple because this is this is my own channel giveaway, right? This this is different because we have companies involved, but uh, for these two, because it's just graphics cards that I bought and out of pocket, we're just gonna be doing these um, internally. And because of that, all I'm going to require international viewers to do is retweet the Twitter post, uh, which will be up, it'll be linked. Uh, and then also on Facebook, we're gonna have these posted. So if you uh, share the post on Facebook, that's a way to enter, as well as if you retweet the tweet on Twitter, then there's your second entry. Now, I'm only asking uh, international viewers to do this. If I draw your name and I find out that you actually live in the US or you give me a US address, then you will be disqualified for obvious reasons. Um, that's not to say you can't share it for the sake of your international friends, that would be appreciated. Just know that you're not going to be able to win if you retweet or share on uh, either Twitter or Facebook. So that's how you can win those. Again, international viewers only, and this one due to shipping restrictions, just uh, my own financial restrictions, this is a USA only. Uh, giveaway. So if you live in the U.S., if you have a U.S. address and uh, you, you you only live there, then uh, only live there. If you're there and you can receive it personally, that will make you eligible. Um, I'm not going to do the whole, if you live in England, but you have a friend who lives in the U.S., can he win it on my behalf? Like, we're not doing that. The person that I speak to who enters a giveaway with his or her address needs to be the person that receives it, okay? I don't care what you do with it. After that, you can sell it, you can part it out. I really don't care, um, but just make sure that you live in the US if you enter this giveaway here. If I find out that you are not in the US and you enter, and then I also find out that you retweeted this, because I will do my research, I gather all the data, I compile it all in Excel, then you will be disqualified from the international giveaway. So don't abuse this, okay? USA only, international only, great. I know this is the internet, so it's probably not bound to hold up very well, but uh, anyway, I hope you guys appreciate the giveaways that we're offering here. I tried to keep this as inclusive as possible. I do not like doing USA only giveaways. In fact, I don't think I've ever done one of those before. Uh, so because the shipping is gonna be pretty much on me uh, and we have a fixed budget from Gigabyte to work with, uh, we're gonna keep this USA only and then uh, we'll, we'll do the international giveaways at the same time. I'll open up for about four weeks for, for all the giveaways. Uh, so uh, that'll give us about a month to let the, the shares and stuff saturate. That way we can get the most people to enter as possible. Uh, and uh, yeah, should be good to go. If you guys like this build, maybe you like the fact that we're doing giveaways at all, let me know by giving someone a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Leave a comment down below expressing whatever feeling you happen to be feeling at the time. And uh, click that red subscribe button if you're feeling especially fancy. And there's nothing wrong with feeling fancy, let me tell you folks. This is Science 
video. Thanks for watching and thanks for building with us.